What's going on guys? Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. Today we're in London. We're outside King's Gym in Croydon and we're going to be asking people a few questions. Are you natural? Two, what's the biggest side effects you've ever experienced if you aren't natural? And three, if you could go back, if you could turn back the clock and basically never go to the dark side, would you choose to do so? Sweet. It took so long to intro that. Holy shit. After the workout, when we head back home, we'll be answering those myself. What's the worst thing that I've experienced and do I regret it? Myself. Hey, Natty, bitches. <laughs> Are you natural? <laughs> Obviously not. You're like, I ain't got a neck. Are you natural? Are you natural? Totally natural. Um, so. When it's just an old lady trying to check out, can you move? Get on with it. Get out the way. <laughs> and it's like, you can't walk. It just got to the point where it was too much for me. So I did jump on quite young. Potential there to be built. I'll be tempted. There's no going back. She loves it. <laughs> We've got some breakfast going down right now. Just made a cookie that's currently in the air fryer with some huge whey. We've got a bagel that just finished getting toasted. I'm gonna put the other one in now. Oh my God, I shouldn't do this one handed. There we go. Bagels are finished. Spinach is in the eggs. And the cookie has about seven minutes. Oh, that looks really boring. We do have a banana that I probably should have put in it. We can still redeem ourselves though because we can use the banana and peanut butter and put it on the bagels. Barbecue sauce on eggs is a massive win. A lot of people use ketchup. I, oh, <laughs> left hand job. Jordy's currently uh, making magic happen. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do this? Left hand. I'm very good with my right hand. We're gonna make a pretty picture. Oh my God, gourmet. And there we have it, the perfect breakfast for someone that has really, really bad OCD and likes everything to be very, yeah. Yeah. That is not too bad. Bag is all packed, pre-workout and all. We just need a belt now. Which belt are we gonna select? Oh God, some samples there. We got OG black to match the bag. Let's go. Very grateful the weather doesn't suit today because we have an hour drive, hour and five minutes exactly, to King's Gym and driving through the rain is very depressing. Sun's out, blue skies, it's absolutely freezing. We'll be in a nice new freaking V8 Q8. I said, ooh, cheeky mama, tell me how you like it. Big black beauty. It's almost like a surprise every day, getting the chance to like wake up and like get in this new car. Like, why'd you get the car? It's not a good financial decision, all this stuff. I'm like, this is the reason why. Because when you get a, that proudness every day to like continue working hard and like chasing your dreams, that's why. We've come to King's Gym to train back and also we're gonna be meeting Marvin for the first time, which is a new hard body athlete. We're gonna be taking his announcement post pictures. We're gonna sit down right now, have a pre-workout meal, walk around the gym and find some saucy looking people to ask them some saucy questions. All right guys, before we get on with the rest of the video, I just wanted to let you know that this video has been sponsored by Legend London. I'm wearing Legend London right now. They're actually doing a big sale later on in the month that I'll tell you about in a second. We are wearing the Legends Basic Grey Mile t-shirt and also their utility black cargoes. The fact they have raw cargoes now is me just my ears because literally most of the outfits that I've picked now match with cargoes so well so I can wear these all the time which is sick. They've also got a bunch of new stuff which is already out and dropping over the next month or so. What they are doing at the end of the month is the 20th to the 25th and it's a Black Friday sale. They're going to be doing up to 50% off the entire website like up to 50% off. So really loving this outfit. I'm going to show you one more outfit of their new stuff that I absolutely love. The way these jeans fit is amazing. I'm kind of in love with the Legends basic range as well because the fit on these tees like it's very nice on the neck it's very hugging on the arms there is a tiny little legend london logo this is like the best fit and gray t-shirt that i have from the basic range they don't just have slim fit and tees they also have oversized stuff if you are like me and everything you wear is pretty much oversized goes really well with the slim fit destroyed knee jeans personally i love slim fit jeans more than like super super tight skinny jeans they do have spray on jeans if you want to like emphasize your quad sweep that much more one thing that you might not know about legend london jeans if you don't own a pair is that they are the comfiest and most stretchy fitting jeans you will ever wear and I want to say thank you to Legend London for sponsoring this video and if you do want to get anything before the sale you can use code hardbody to save at checkout it will support me and you'll get a little discount yourself now I'm all ready to head out looking fresh I'm excited to unbox all the rest of the stuff but now back to the video my man here we got Marvin this guy say, is deceivingly big you reckon? I'm okay. kind of short though isn't it two tall bodybuilder in the making I need to make larger t-shirts for you this is XL this is like the nicest fitting t-shirt I've ever like worn I know they're super soft like, I thought it was just gonna be just like just a normal like cotton t-shirt we're gonna walk around the gym, we're gonna get some shots for this guy, and then we're gonna eat, then we're gonna ask the questions, and then we're gonna train. So we're stood in the middle here. That's it, that's it. We're favoriting the ones we like right now. 
Got a juicy, juicy pro card cookie. We're gonna chow down. Pre-workout meal has been consumed. The pictures of Marvin have been edited and they look freaking sick. We're gonna announce it in a few hours. Taking up the whole background, bro. Are you natural? <laughs> My left side's my best side. No, it's not. I'm fine. The first question is, are you natural? Obviously not. Look at me, I'm massive. You know, I ain't got a neck. Are you natural? No. Are you natural? No, I'm not natural. Are you natural? Yes. Are you currently natural? Totally natural. Um, so... No, I'm not natural. What's the worst thing you've ever experienced being unnatural? I'd have to say mental health wise, you have to be very careful. Like there's certain substances that will that will enhance certain things about you that you don't realise will happen. A lot of people don't really talk about that, the mental science. There's certain substances that can really just put you in a very dark place, make you think certain things that you never thought you'd like think and feel, do you know what I mean? You're making so, it sound like a dark potion. I'd say I was a lot more aggressive in the gym when I took this certain substance. Any sort of issues that I had, it just seemed ten times Work. Some woman will be at Tesco checking out and she'll be taking her sweet time and you'll be like annoyed about it when it's just an old lady trying to check out. Can you move? Hey. Get out the way. <laughs> what made you decide to go down that route? This is what I wanted to do and I know that down the natural route isn't where I wanted to be and that's not going to get me to where I wanted to be. I took the leap and I made that decision. I haven't had any bad jabs or anything. I mean, you get the odd like first one you ever do in your glute and it's like you can't walk. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> as long as you can like barely walk, you're fine. Yeah. But I had no bad experiences. No like health, big health issues or anything like that. I think there's always like things that come up in my mind where I'm like, ah, oh, I do want kids one day. So it's like something I need to be wary of. You always kind of get those thoughts in the back of your head. Like, am I stopping myself from doing that by doing this? The pros and the cons of it all. So I did jump on quite young. And I think a lot of people do think or do say to me like, oh, you, you could have waited or you should have waited. The time that I did jump on, I was, 18. I was at college at the time, so college was fully online. I was able to train in a full gym, empty. Every day was meticulous. Could just train, eat, sleep, and then do my college work at home. We're not trying to like glorify it so much. No. Like, if anything, this video is like to not glorify it so much because he was in the best circumstance, mentally ready, able to train and dedicate himself wholeheartedly to his goal. And that is the only time that you should do it. It is yeah. as if like you, you know what you want. There's so many things that you need to be getting right before you jump on. Eating enough? Are you training enough? Are you training good enough? Are you, is your attention there are you sleeping like there's so many boxes that need to be ticked this is just the last step why did you go to the dark side I got to a point within my fitness journey that I had been training in the gym and I reached my natural potential okay track. what do you mean natural potential though in terms of prep like with fat loss in terms of fat loss okay. which was awesome I wanted to grow and I wanted to take it seriously so that was something that was really truly really important to me I had grown to a certain point where I was happy but I wanted to take it to that next level Jordi was training naturally for many many years before she even started bodybuilding I was on prep for the first time in my journey for 28 weeks and it absolutely killed me. Pushed as hard as I could. I was running on the treadmill for two and a half hours. No one should do two and a half hours of incline running. No, never. It just got to the point where it was too much for me. I plan on staying natural and seeing how big I can get and where it takes me strength wise and physique wise. I can't say I won't in the future. I'm not against them. One, I am a girl. Two, I am young. So I've still got a lot of years of training, but I'm not against anyone that does go on it. I think just be, I think be open, be clear. Yeah. Especially if you're posting online and stuff. There's a lot of people that would look at people's physiques. I want to look like that, but they don't actually know why they look like that. You at least want to like see what you can do naturally first. Yeah, no, 100%. I want to see how far I can go before I even start looking at that because I am I'm so young. There's a lot of like potential there to be built. Have I been tempted? Yeah, in a way, just to see how far I could push my body and see what I could look like. But if I had to give advice, I'd say push yourself naturally as far as you can. Because that's what I'm going to do this year. I've been to a few comps of friends who are natural. You would think that they are natural because of how great they look. I've just started my first cycle. Probably like the first six weeks. I just finished my first show. I wanted to do one naturally just because to me there's, that's quite a dangerous thing to jump into your first show yeah. non-natural. I'd say for anyone who's like starting it, to be fair, like starting it after your show when you're lean and in perfect condition is probably a better thing to do instead yeah. of starting off when you're like Peak off fat. Season. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fortunate to have a really good coach who knows what they're doing, so they're not putting me on 300 milligrams of trend <laughs> straight away. I'm just on test, get my blood work done. Sure. I make sure that I'm not choosing silly injection sites. You could like never go unnatural. Would you stay natural? I wouldn't stay natural because I know what the end goal is. If I could go back, I would do a lot more research. Everything you've achieved, you're happy with and like you wouldn't go back and change it. I don't regret.
regret it at all. Don't jump on stuff just because you can. Take time to see what you can do by yourself. I like that. That's, yeah. a, that's some really good that's advice. It, yeah. Do you regret it? No. I love Damon. <laughs> <laughs> she loves it. In terms of strength goals, you feel so much stronger. You Your can't recovery glorify is so much it too better. Much. I'm sorry. There's no going back. I will be unnatural until I die. No one seems so happy about taking <laughs> steroids in my life. Ever. <laughs> Massive fake natty. Hey natty, bitches. <laughs> when you're doing it, that's the bed that you have to make and lie in. So if I do end up regretting it, you know, that's my thing to deal with. You fully prepared yourself to be like, I might regret it in the future, but if I do, it's too late. You've got to suck it up, get yeah. on with it. That's your choice that you've made. So surprised at how well that went, just because like, we hit like every different array of person. Like someone, Jordy, who absolutely loves being unnatural. Two guys at the beginning were obviously like very, very like mental health conscious and like make sure they're doing it for the right reasons. Someone that just started, a girl who looks very, very strong and developed, who is on her like journey to become a competitor, but is natural, that is like open to the idea of it in the future. And then a guy that's fully natural and saw people compete naturally and wants to aspire to be that we just hit like literally every kind of person it was really nice to like understand like different different people's like mindsets towards something because i have my own opinions on these questions very happy with that hopefully that gave you a bit of insight into your decision on either staying natural or coming off or like whatever you want to do with your future in your life but right now we're going to drink a pre and hit some back Y'all get a load of me, yeah, don't let them slow on me I get the bad like a grocery I'm on my ground like I'm supposed to be And I do not care if you notice me Boxes, boxes, I cannot fit in the boxes Stop it, stop it, quitting was never an option Exhausted, exhausted, this passion is never exhausted And you cannot stop it, nah, you cannot stop it in the sky if you got a dream learn nothing was blocking me i was the problem the only one stopping me i didn't like it i had to refocus now i'm devoted i know what i'm going controlling emotions i'm owning the moment in order to get it see you gotta want it this type of flow make a living break confessions over these 808 don't sleep on the key better stay away i mean for heaven's sake i'ma be the best came from the endless playing with the games with with the chest Beating on my chest, trying to get my rest, watch me while I flex Every win is a blessing, and every L is a lesson So when I run into rejection, I know it's all in redirection I see the blessings right beside me, the chances are quite unlikely I do it like I'm in my Nikes, don't make excuses, they never excite me Boxes, boxes, I cannot fit in the boxes Stop it, stop it, quitting was never an option Exhausted, exhausted, this passion is never exhausted and you cannot stop it Nah, you cannot stop it Quitting was never an option uh, And we uh, yeah, really good workout. Actually very happy considering after asking people questions and stuff, taking the pictures, like we've essentially filmed a whole video, interviewed loads of people, done a photo shoot, got an athlete announcement, and just trained all in the space of like three hours. So I'm really hungry. <laughs> oh. Alright, so currently eating popcorn. Popcorn is the best snack ever. Currently cooking a sirloin steak because tonight we are having steak 
tacos. Dinner's gonna be sick, basically. Driving back from London was very long. I don't know why. He had a really, really good back session. With like an hour and 10 minute drive back, we were just like falling asleep at the wheel. And we didn't, of course, because we didn't make it back alive. By the way, this is kind of what I do. When I make dinner or make a steak or something, I just sit on this chair and just kind of like wait for the food to be done. We was in Sainsbury's and I found these. There's a famous brand that everyone usually gets, but these are 25 grams of protein. The fat content in one of these is like 0.4 grams per pot, so pretty good macros. For the tacos, we went for the old alpaso kit. I'm essentially gonna like mince the steak it when it's cooked, cut in tiny pieces, and then put it back in the pan and saute it with the sauce in this, and then add some salsa, add some like chopped onions, peppers, all that sort of stuff, and actually make them into pretty decent tacos. I obviously don't have like steak tacos every night and like snack on popcorn, but the, we do have actually loads of macros. We're at the gym so much longer than I expected to be today. Like I actually had breakfast, prepped one meal to go, and that was literally it. So we had like a bit of a Nando's on the way back, but I literally got like a Fino Pitta and coleslaw. We have a lot of macros to get in today. The fat is definitely here for the day with the Fino Pitta and the steak. It's been a pretty chill day. It's been a really good day to be honest. I'm not too like heavily concentrated on like hitting the macros spot on. I know that if I hit my protein and my carbs, some, some days, yeah, on the off season, your fat is gonna go a little bit higher, which is completely okay now and again and actually feel like a normal human as long as you are hitting your session properly. I did 20 minutes fasted cardio this morning too, so we're basically getting shredded. I'm just not gonna use the whole back. Pepper's done. Dinner is served. So before I answer the questions that everyone else answers in the gym, we're just gonna enjoy dinner. It's all prepared right here. Me and Jordy regularly just like sit on the ground and just eat. And we're watching this uh, Netflix show right now called Warrior Nun. There's just a bunch of warrior nuns just like walking around but they've all got powers and amazing fighting ability and someone put like a halo in some girl, some random girl who used to be disabled and now isn't, came back to life. There's a bunch that happens and it's pretty amazing. So we're also still eating popcorn, of course, but we're gonna eat these tacos, enjoy some of this, watch an episode and then we will answer the question. Tell you what, not too shabby. Mm -mm. Food is finished. It's a little bit later on in the evening right now. There's actually another uh, plate of food from the tacos that you saw, but they were really good. I briefly wanted to say my reasoning for making this video because over the journey of my channel and when I prep, especially on numerous preps, maybe even more so the last one, considering we, we got a pro card. That can unintentionally, and whenever I speak about anabolics and you know what I do and the results that I yield from them, it can shed a really positive light on the use of them. It can almost glorify them in a way that I'm not intentionally meaning to do. I always preface, or I try to, every single time I speak about it, I say like, you know, this is my personal choice and these are the decisions that I've made for my life. Various different people on social media also using anabolics and yielding these incredible things and to know that there are also people out there that are also receiving incredible results, achieving fantastic physiques. And a lot of the reason that people start taking anabolics I've seen is because they think it's gonna grow them a social media following. Having an incredible physique is gonna get you more followers, get you more money, get you more sponsorships, all that sort of stuff. But I can promise you that's not the case. There are so many people that I watch on YouTube, follow that have more than me, that have a great deal of success, that have pretty average physiques, like kind of aesthetic, yeah, but I mean, they're, they're small, they're lean, they have abs, but it's proof that you don't need to do this stuff to get the followers on social media. It's not gonna get you a life that you want to live, so having all these external reasons motivating, as well as myself glorifying it, sometimes can bend someone's arm and make them do something they wouldn't otherwise do if this light hadn't been shed on it. So I wanted to make this video to almost shed some light on different realities, actual real people, not people that have followers, not people that have like, you know, these, this huge audience that, you know, glorify. I wanted to speak to real people that actually had real life experiences with this. Cause all you see is myself. This is my channel, of course. This is like an insight to my life. I'm recording eating tacos sat on the floor with my girlfriend. This is literally as, as intimate as it gets. You know, there's even things that I've put online that I, I probably shouldn't have over the years. And that's gonna give you more of an insight into my life than, you know, I should probably show, but I enjoy it. It's my passion, I love sharing my journey, and I do hope that it can inspire and motivate people to do something with their lives. Not necessarily the bad things, but hopefully the good things. My answer to the questions are no, I'm not natural. And probably the worst side effects I've noticed in my life, it's sometimes like, just to give some like, I guess like brief facts, I have had the odd bad jab. I have had the odd, you know, inflammation you saw on prep that I was having a bad reaction to some intoxicated substance that was like a bad batch essentially. And a whole one side of my body got inflamed and I've had ups and downs emotionally. I don't know if depression or, you know, bipolar outbursts of extreme happiness or sadness behind the camera has been 
because of anabolics or it's been a, a genetic predisposition. Members of my family, I'm not gonna list who, but various people in my family have been diagnosed with bipolar and you know ups and downs and anxiety and all these things. So I know it's very normal to feel these things, so I wouldn't deem that to be a side effect. But I'm trying to say is I signed up when I was 19 years old knowing that this would be a reality. It's now been five and a half years that I have been unnatural. I've noticed my fair share, but I, I knew what I was signing up for. And that leads me on to the final answer to the question is do I regret it? And I don't because this is the life I chose. I'd be silly to regret five entire years of my life and I would be doing myself a disservice in saying that I regretted this decision. I wouldn't go back and do it any differently because I'm very grateful for the life I have. You know, if it wasn't for the decisions that I made, which led to conversation, to experience, to doing things, to achieving the things that have yield, been yielded from this thing. I might not have even met Geordie if these things, I might not have the friends I have now and it's all been based on an accumulation of life experiences that has resulted from a single decision that I've made. And I want that to lead on to the decisions you make every day from now, like when you're watching this video, the decisions that you're making every single day, tomorrow when you wake up, you know, the, you know, when you go to bed, every decision you make, whether it be good or bad, is gonna create the life that you're gonna live. And I'm not trying to say this in a weird, shitty, cr cringy, motivational way, but it couldn't be any more true. What you decide to do every day and who you decide to be will give you the life that you will live. Whether you're tired, whether you feel lazy, whether you just want to stay in and <laughs> do what me and Jordy do now, just watching Netflix. When you could be doing something that's going to be great for your future, that's going to put you into the shoes you want to live, give you the life that you want to live. I want to leave it at that. I want to, I want to leave it at like, the decisions you make. Make sure that you're making them for the right reasons and know that they will stain your existence and you only have one and if you mess it up you do not get to try again if you do things that are persuasions by other people external sources if, if you're not truly living for yourself and with loved ones in mind you will live a life that you regret and that's one thing i can't say i i can't say that i, I live a life i regret because i don't think i've made decisions I, I mean obviously there's some things of course in my life but <laughs> i don't even dare <laughs> of course there's some things we all make mistakes but we all learn from them at the same time that's going to be it for the video I really hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna actually probably finish watching the show we're watching and head to bed and uh, start tomorrow as a new day. And you know, yeah, just try and make it a good one, really. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. If you wanna see more things like this, if you wanna see me like speak to various different people in the public about ever, ever, like different things and stuff, this is actually my first time ever doing sort of like a public reaction style video, like actually asking people questions around the gym, whether we're in public or in the gym. I've never, ever, ever done this before. And I've been doing YouTube for seven years. I really enjoyed it. And if you did too, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, because it really helps the channel grow. And that beeping just doesn't end. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.